Where's our intro music? Right. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the uh, July 21st version of the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Uh, looks like we got a quorum here, so I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll call the meeting to order right now. Um, do we need to do a roll call? No. No? Okay. no. We're supposed to get it. Uh, we have no, not so Tracy left her. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, then, next, uh, next up is the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Who wants to stand up? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is that the metal plate on my head? All right, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, okay, next up would be to identify any potential conflict of interest. If anybody feels they have a conflict with uh, today's agenda items. Seeing none, I guess we'll go ahead and move forward. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. Can I get it? Did everybody get a chance to look over the meeting, uh, the minutes from last month? Okay, did, are there any questions, any changes, or anything that we need to? I'd like to make a motion to approve. Okay, so we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. All right, uh, having a second, uh, any discussion? No, nope, hearing nothing. There was a uh, second, wasn't there? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got a second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Say aye. Uh, opposed? Hearing none, chair votes aye. Motion passed. Um, if, 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 I could, if I could just take a second, if everybody would indulge me for a second before we get started, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take up too much time, but just wanna make a couple comments here. We had uh, one, of, one, of our, uh, one of our board members, Don Sviton, sadly uh, passed away at the beginning of this month or around the beginning of this month. So I just wanted to, uh, I just kinda wanted to make mention of that and acknowledge, um, you know, sadly uh, he did pass away. Um, he was a very important member, not only of this committee, but he was certainly a very important and active member in the community uh, with volunteering, family events, uh, certainly had, he had a passion for music. So, uh, but I just wanted to, uh, just, I just wanted to make an acknowledgement of that. Don was a very important factor of this, uh, of this board as well. And his, uh, his opinion was highly valuable to us and, uh, and certainly his friendship more importantly. So, uh, but I'll open it up if anybody else has anything they'd like to add. Before we move forward. He was a member on the City Planning Commission for a number of years, too. So, yeah, he was uh, a lot of, uh, we appreciated uh, his uh, civil er, civil services and uh, to the city of Sheboygan. Yeah, he'll certainly be missed. He'll deeply missed. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Well, thank you very much. All right, so item up on the list here, 3.1, is a variance application by Andrew Purdy. Is that correct? Uh, requesting to install a six feet high privacy fence in his required street yard. Previous property owner was granted a variance uh, to install a six feet high fence, but was required to have a 50% open 12 inch lattice top on May 19th, 1999, located at 3232 Main Avenue. Uh, so Mr. Purdy, if you'd like to step up to the podium and let us know what you're looking at trying to do. Um, I guess of the provided uh, submission is everybody able to see that okay and re review yep. it or should I yeah um, so I guess we are as you said looking to put up a, a six-foot fence I think a, a representative picture of what we're trying to do is uh, figure two um, just an online image that image is of a unstained fence um, so we're we're going the treated route and we would for a recommendation from the manufacturer, let it dry for a year and then apply uh, a cedar tone stain to it. Um, so it would have that appearance as in figure two um, with that kind of layered effect. Um, it would exist in the same place as the existing six foot fence um, where it's, it's right on top of it, taking down the existing and, and replacing as is. Um, Uh, I guess some of the other things we're looking to do in that in that project um, on page seven, some of the additional opportunities we um, have started on um, are uh, doing some bush removal. So figure 10 shows the removal of a bush um, 
that will happen is happening. Um, and then on the opposite end, figure nine, um, removing that bush to access the apple tree and raise that apple tree up, trim it up higher so that you have clear view of uh, from that stop sign. Um, and I guess lastly, put in a another evergreen, um, I guess it's visible in figure 10 that uh, would match what was there. There was a tree that needed to be taken down there recently. So um, that's the super high level of it without getting too far into the weeds. Um, any questions about what's sure. described? Yeah. Um, in priors, we generally will, it needs to be a 50%, so a box style, correct? Or vinyl fence when it's on a corner like that, correct? Is what we approved in the past. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yes, I think I think if you you know take a look at uh, some of the pictures, let's see here, what he Mr. Purdy is showing is that there's some damages to the existing mm -hmm. uh, fence, and so when you know obviously at Main and Taylor Drive, this is a real visible and a key corridor, obviously, in the city. So at that time, in the 90s, you can see that they required that um, uh, lattice on top of it to give some general design work. Um, you can see, based on this, what the fence eventually looks like 20 years later. Mm -hmm. So instead of this style, um, you know, and I'm sure Mr. Purdy would keep it up, but the fact of the matter is it's going to gray out and you're going to have this now along Taylor Drive. So it's, um, you know, yeah, I think from, from a design perspective, I think what you're seeing here is a step down from even what's existing from a design perspective. I think something like this is more attractive than this. And I think along Taylor Drive, we have to be real cognizant of what we're putting out there. So a um, couple of the pictures, you know, just kind of give you a, a sense in terms of, you know, the length and how much is seen. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, this is just kind of the general area. Um, at a minimum, you know, that street frontage is, you know, really important so that would be staff's comment on that you know we've done the uh, 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 the vinyl and the um, uh, shadow box but uh, you can see the design that you have there now and I'm not quite sure if we're up to that well and many times on a corner we've allowed a vinyl fence to be on the main road so that would be on Taylor Drive they would be required to use it there but then the rest of the fence could be a different material. We've allowed two different ones, but then visibly from the road is where we've allowed that vinyl only. Right. So, so Steve, the recommendation then, I guess, from the city is to is to maybe dress it up a little bit more than what the proposal is. Then. Yeah, I I, I think uh, right now, um, just that. Uh, you know, proposal that we got for this is, um, I think, like I said, the board previously in the 90s had a, had a, you know, idea that, hey, this is an important area, we need some design, and I think the existing does that more so than the proposed. Hmm. I got a quick question. You're, are you about a block off Taylor Drive to the west? I, I am right on the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, Taylor, and Taylor, Taylor, Taylor and Main. Yep. Next across the street. I'll Are take a look. Shadow box? Um, so the in Figure Two, um, that it's it's very similar to Shadow Box, but it's called Board on Board. Um, figure Two and Three kind of show very similar uh, images. So the one with the X through it is also a common fence, but it's just boards next to each other. I guess I wanted to make it clear that we're not doing that, that it does have, I'll say, some depth to it, so they are they are layered. Um, yeah, I guess he blew it up there some, that's helpful. Um, 
so it's not just one, you know, just imperfect line of, of fencing. You do have that, that broken edge uh, appearance. Um, I guess an another consideration that we were uh, toying with was um, also putting, I'll say, a top runner, a top lip across the, uh, the very top uh, just to add some more accent or some post caps, uh, some copper style. We, we like that look of copper, especially with a, not that this shows a earth tone or a cedar tone, but um, those two complementing each other. So those were other options that we were thinking of. I'm sorry, I'm not, I kind of went off there. Does that no, answer no your worries. question? So you're gonna have barbed wire on top, is that it? <laughs> it? It might be required for the boys, but I think. <laughs> Better security. Yeah. It, what, what color were you thinking of staining it again? Um, like a, a cedar color. Cedar yeah. color. Okay. Exactly. So you're gonna let it age naturally, you're not gonna paint it. No, we, we are. So the, the plan is for the uh, post to be, or not the, just the post, but the post and fence itself to be treated. So the, a green treat, um, and then after that, has a chance to dry, to stain it um, with a cedar tone staining. So, so I, I guess the concern then of, of the, the, the board and the city would be is, okay, that's a long run of fence, it looks like. Yeah. Um, so we don't want to just see just fence. Yeah. I guess, and, and it's, it's gonna be hard not to with that much going on. So, so I guess what we're kind of looking for is just something that, uh, uh, what, what are you looking for, Steve? Um, I, I guess what I'm looking for from the standpoint or what would be recommended is, again, when you take a look at the pictures on the screen or up on top, you see what happens after 20 years. And, and in this case, we got lattice. Um, in, with what's being proposed, now we're going to just see this grayed out potentially, not saying you know, in another 20 years, and, and is this an acceptable fence compared to even what we have now? And I, I, I think it needs to be dressed up more than what we, what's being proposed. And typically we've done some vinyl. Um, if something was even considered like this, you know, uh, what we, what Mr. Purdy, you know, and the, and the board could consider is he's just adding something over here. Does it mean that more landscaping is required? Another, you know, two, three, four trees or whatever, or arbs or whatever in this area. I don't know. Those are other options. It, to, How many feet go off ahead. the uh, cur uh, sidewalk are you right now? Um, I don't have an exact measurement to the sidewalk, but from the existing fence to the street, uh, that's 14 feet, and by the street, I do mean Taylor Drive. Um, so the edge of the sidewalk is approximately half of that. So, so you're going to just to replace it where the fence is now, you're just going to put another one up? Correct. Yeah, we weren't planning on moving it closer or farther away. Um, and I guess to, to the earlier point of, of landscaping, um, on... <coughs> Yeah, that, that I guess the image that you had of figure 10. Um, there was, or there, there are the two uh, evergreens that are visible today, um, where the green triangle, and it's, I guess it's kind of hard to see, there was an evergreen there that needed to be removed. I, I think it would look quite nice if that was replaced and you have that continue with that spacing. And then there is a, a young one right next to the red circle um, that, is starting to grow, and but then there was an odd bush on the corner that made that corner look kind of funny. So I, I do like that idea of. of um, Would you be yeah. willing to use a vinyl on that side of the road? Um, I, I would have preference against it, and the the white vinyl. I, it doesn't I don't have personally. to be white. Oh, they have okay. different colors. Okay. It um, doesn't have to be white. Okay. Wonder, you yeah. know what I mean? Because no. every corner we—that's what we make them put up. Right. It looks so much better and cleaner for the longer time frame. Yep. So, so this one is a little bit of a, a challenge. I mean, again, I don't think everybody's got to, you know, wouldn't want to move forward with it because we see what you're trying to do. But again, with that kind of a run in that location, 
we're just looking to to just dress it up a little bit, not not to drastically increase cost or anything like that, but we're just trying to to dress up that location a little bit more. And, and it clearly seems like you are with cutting out some of those bushes and trimming up the trees and things like that. So that would definitely help. Uh, but we're just looking for maybe a combination of something that we can do again with with other landscaping options and a different style or different uh, something different with the fencing. Because um, even even the vinyl, I mean, with that, I mean, it's that's a lot. That's a lot of a run right there. With, with one, one kind of continuous wall of the same the same thing over and over again. It, it looks kind of bland if it's all the same, right? You want, want some depth there. Yeah. Some changes. But yeah. then, the, then, then again, the, the concern then would be in the future is now that we have a we have a long run of worn out and weather beaten, you know, fencing just like we kind of have right there, right, right now. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's what we're trying it, to right. possibly avoid. Um, so, do we have any? Does anybody have any uh, any kind of a motion or any uh, any other ideas that might? Uh, would you consider a, a shadow box? Um, you mean the where the? Because we've had a lot of fences put up, and most of them, a lot of them are. I was just ninety percent of them are shadow blocks. Okay. When you drive around town, you see a lot of that. That looks pretty decent from the street. We've done that. Uh, my my concern, you know, like I said, more than anything, is just the weathering of it and how visible it is on Taylor Drive. You know, but well, we have done it. Well, and that's where, like, to me, this is similar to the one that we approved. That was across the street on um, Eisner. Now Eisner is that main road. It's across the street from the nursing home. So then you had that right. three-story building that's looking at this fence, which what which now is like it's like a cream color vinyl. It's not white. Yeah. It's a cream color. So part of their fence, so half of their fence is wood, and the other half is vinyl, which is what's exposed to the road because that's what they were. I guess willing to do, but um, it always looks the same. I guess all mm -hmm. the time, and that's been up for a couple of years right. now. We did it on Superior Avenue too. Was another one. I think Seventh and Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's another one where they did. They chose to do the whole them. fencing right. in those cases, but. I mean, now those, that one property has changed owners twice now. Right. And it still looks the same, mm -hmm. you know. It is in the, I guess to the point of the, the graying out, um, is that anything you've asked people to correct over time? If, if there is a, a property sure. and it has great fence, it's, hey, you guys got to sure. stain this. It, it can't mm -hmm. be this horrific. Um, uh, yeah, sometimes what happens... It's generally the neighbors that will complain. Yeah, sure. sometimes it's just the administration of it. You're not always going by it or whatever, but yeah, that's been looked at from time to time. Okay. Right. Yeah, you get you get a feedback and... Right. Mm -hmm. Can can somebody nudge? <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I'm wondering if... Yeah. I mean, we, we don't want the fence to look like that. This was, like I said, approved in what year? How many years yeah. ago? Yeah. And it's falling apart, so the putting money in to restain it type sure. of thing was no, the, the let's let's put something in there that's going to last a while and then I mean, I'm not opposed to a regular restaining and upkeep of something that's at the beginning of its life here um, not not so much at the end of its life it's at the end of its life let's replace it um, I'm trying to, I'm, is it for for the material out there is that green treated yes it is yeah treated with uh, so so it, that takes some time to stain in and of itself, doesn't it, Jeff? A year. Yep. At least a year, yeah. Yep. Okay. One year. One year. Okay, do we have any uh, any kind of a... Yes, yes, sir. You got any suggestions, Mr. Litsky? No, I'm going to wait. There you go. Did I, did I, I'm sorry, can you press it? Uh, the fence that you're proposing is along a very sensitive area of the entrance into Sheboygan. I w would like you to consider the possibility of using the shadow box fence for that area because you already have the right amount of materials there the board on board gives you the same amount of materials. 
And I also like your idea of extending up the four by four posts that are what, six feet on center and putting copper caps on them. That I think I could approve, I could recommend that we consider uh, accepting your proposal for a variance with the possibility of adding to that the amendment that it be shadow box with the posts uh, extended up a few inches and given copper caps. Or vinyl. Or the possibility of vinyl of your color selection. Okay. That was a motion. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a question? No, I thought there was no. another comment. No. no. Okay. So, so Dick, is that is that a motion? Friday? Yes, I could make that a motion. Okay. Do I have uh, a second? A motion to say he wants a shadow box now? Either a shadow box or with, with the copper caps on a post, if he extends up some of the posts a few inches and puts a copper cap on them, or he goes to a, uh, a vinyl material, the color of his choosing. What, uh, what are you willing to go along with? I, I would lean more towards the shadow box being closer to what we're proposing today. So is your motion to put a shadow box there? Yes. Okay. Motion is, the, yeah, okay. okay. Good. All right, so we have a motion on the floor and a second. No, mine is second. No, uh, no, no. Yep. Uh, do we have sorry, any other? No, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, do we have any other further discussion? Uh, then let's, uh, all, all in favor of the motion? There's no more discussion. There's no, no discussion further. So there's uh, no more questions. Yes. Uh, all in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Aye. Chair votes aye. With one opposed. Yep. So it looks like the motion passes. So, so what you'll want to do is um, you can work with Jeff with which you've been working with um, building inspector on that side and then probably what you could do is just get that plan in and show the the um, pulse with the style of um, uh, the copper cap and then that way Jeff can review it to make sure hey it's what we're after and uh, you know, if there's any thoughts on adding any additional landscaping over there or things like that, certainly feel free to do that as well. Okay. But the motion was approved for that shadow box style. And vinyl, if you would choose to go that route. All right. Thank you. All right. All right very good. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Um, uh, I guess I'll call you or find your contact. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> downstairs, uh, second floor building inspection. Yep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I do believe that is it. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? You got any more business? It doesn't look like we do. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All right, we got a motion to adjourn. All right, meeting adjourned. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good job. Yeah,